Generative AI is, in a sense, the second wave of transformative AI that we've experienced over the past few decades. And that first wave was really around ranking systems. And so you're thinking here about Google search, Facebook, YouTube's recommendations, TikTok. All of this is around choosing sort of the ranking of information that was already created by people. And this seems like a small thing. It's just ranking a set of items. But when you're ranking, you're now restructuring society just by that simple act of ranking because you're ranking for billions of people every day all the time the second wave is where we go beyond ranking to actually generating that content this second wave of transformative artificial intelligence we don't know fully what those implications are going to be the whole way in which we make information and the basis of communication across society like that is all going to be rewired ai is really breaking into the mainstream here it's not just something that the tech bubble cares about. And it's time to ask questions about who's really gonna make money here? How real is this hype? And what will be the business impact? So we've seen the company become a key ally to Microsoft, which has reportedly invested $10 billion recently at a $29 billion valuation. AI is a technology anymore. I think more than like optimism, it's kind of gotten to a point where people are accepting that this is an inevitability. Now, what do we do with this inevitability, you know? Steve Jobs said that, you know, the phone was a bicycle for the mind. This technology is really a rocket ship for the mind. These big tech companies like Microsoft and Google that are building some of these models and kind of working with companies like OpenAI on these models to start integrating them more deeply into some of the existing software we know. And Bill said that he thinks this is one of the four big technological changes of his lifetime. And he said that he thinks AI will deservedly be the hottest topic of this year. Uh, the hype that we're seeing now is just to catch up on the previous wave of, of usage. But I think in the next few years, we're going to see video, we're going to see audio, 3D, the ability to really create any world you can imagine. A lot of the coolest applications that are going to come out of this, you know, AI wave haven't even been invented yet, maybe haven't even been imagined yet. I think because machine learning is such a different paradigm as a uh, typical software, there's going to be like a flock, like a wave of AI, ML native startups that are going to do things, build products hundred times better than the incumbents who have not been able to build machine learning the, the same way. So this is very exciting because I think we really have the opportunity to change the paradigm 